Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Today we can finally start moving on with the workstations books and the vehicle books because the loot table was pretty much filled with minor 69er books which is not the best but we finally got those out of the way so now we should be able to just loot what I want and get what I want essentially. Uh, we're very close to being done with clubs actually. We only need uh, 14 more. That's probably not going to happen today because it's not the easiest one to level. But we're close. Shotguns are doing quite well as well. But the main one we're focusing on is workstations and vehicles. I'd love to get up to 15 workstations relatively soon. And I would love to get up to 45 vehicles relatively soon. Once I have a motorcycle, I'm, I'm pretty much set on vehicles. I can focus on getting better guns and melee weapons so there is a passing gas poi in the middle of the town that i've been saving for the day i finally got rid of the tool magazines from the loot table we are going to go there and loot the passing gas containers it has in the hopes that i get some vehicle magazines i should mention i have three ranks of grease monkey which should be a solid boost to my vehicle adventures magazines so let's head out there see if i can find that poi again Okay, so here is the tier 4 passing gas. I am going to clear this out and get the passing gas containers that I'm assuming are going to be in here. I'm sure I could skip to the end and probably get most of them, but I am worried about missing a couple throughout, so I will just do the whole thing. So let's get started. Oh, we killed him. Okay, well here's the first passing gas container. Vehicle Adventures and another Tools Digest. Even though I've cleared them out of the loot table, they will still exist in some containers. Didn't be particularly frequently though. Hang on, it sounds like there's a wandering horde outside. I mean, they seem to be just running right past. So, I guess I don't have to worry. Let's continue. Anyone else hiding back here? No, go. Cool. Now this one's really annoying to sneak into because of the water, but let's, let's try my luck. Yeah, no, that didn't work. <laughs> ah, cement mixer. Always good to know guaranteed ones of those. Got more zombies coming. Right, so this is a death trap, this section, so I'm going to make sure I have a way out here. I mean, we've got that little chair, but I really don't trust that little chair. Let's go in. Run away. That went well. Let's see, does this spawn more zombies? Of course it does. No one needs a feral. Oh my god, just die. Come on. There we go. There's a working stiff tools crate up there. Forge ahead. Cool. Bunch of medical stuff. Oh, there was two books there. Sounds like we've attracted some zombies from outside. Let's go deal with them. Let's see what we get in this safe. Mod, some ammo, and some silver. Of course, there's one more zombie, just to be annoying. Some meds and food, cool. Let's continue on. There's something hiding back here. Another working stiff tools crate. Uh, repair kits and tool parts, okay. Hello. Ow. Stuck on the damn door. Now, I got a skill point there, and I think the best choice would be another rank of grease monkey for even more, uh, grease, even more vehicle adventure books. Or meds. Ah, there's some actual bookshelves here as well, that's nice. Vehicle Adventures. Need ten more. Rifles. Vehicle Adventures. Another Vehicle Adventures. Another zombie outside. There's always more. Oh, hey, biker. Go down, please. Got scrapping for fun there. Right, this top area is going to be kind of scary, but let's reload. wonder, is there anything good in here? I forget. Old bag with some aloe cream in it. And a sealed shipping container with a shotgun book. Well, it's something. Right then, let's go fight the last of these zombies up here. Oh, and of course, it's all working stiff tools crates. You gotta love that. Where's the dog? That's my main concern right now. Or maybe there just isn't one this time? Ah, there it is. 
Follow me, cop. I don't want him to pop near the loot. Oh, good, you're a feral. Ah, there we go. Bunch of ammo and some club parts. Some meds. One pass and gas container is very disappointing. Handy land, it didn't even have what I needed. Oh, this game's RNG. Check these tool containers, though. Acid and steel tool parts. Handy land again. Let me use some medicine. I got any lockpicks on me? I got one, let's give it a try. Oh, of course. Right, well, let's just bash it open then. It's gonna take forever, but so what? <laughs> okay, we got uh, vehicle adventures, scrapping for fun, mods, ammo, health, and time charges, which will be very useful. I'm gonna go buy something from that vending machine that was in the room over there, because I need a drink, apparently. Get some coffee. Wait, where's this one zombie being annoying? There you are. Okay, so we got a good few vehicle adventures there. That got me up to 38, so I need another 7. That's not terrible. And we also got a couple of forger heads. Where else can I go? You know, the loot in the funeral home is very easy to get to, so maybe we should just do a quick oop, uh, jump onto the roof there and grab that. Anything in this? These are usually good for them as well. Let me search this. Any luck? Nope. Wiring and tech junkies, of course. Cars are also not a bad source of the vehicle adventures books. And there's a bunch of them in this POI, so I may as well search them. Nothing there. Nothing there. Shotgun book. Not what I was expecting, but I will take it. Glue. Okay. Any cars around this side? Nope. Okay. Right, let's get onto the roof and get the loot. If this is still... Same as it used to be, anyway. They might have changed the POI. I think they changed the POI. <laughs> they definitely changed the POI. Why is one of those in a tier 1 POI? The gas go away, please. Uh, water, okay. So, is this different or what? So confused now. Okay, it is different, but it's not substantially different. You can still easily get up to the loot here. Are they coming behind me? I'll just shut that. Oh, you can't shut that, of course. If there's one thing I know about metal hatches is that you can lock them open. This game's weird. Alright, let's go down and see what we can deal with. Where are you all? I assume they're caught on this door in some way. That one guy there's stuck. He's very annoying. More acid. Oil. Right then, so, end loop as I was trying to do before all the zombies in the POI woke up for some reason. Anyone else hiding back here? No. Ah, that's a way easier way to get to that. Noted. Uh, shotgun choke mod. That's actually pretty helpful. Increases my accuracy with the shotgun. Some ammo. Some random items. And then the passing gas container. Come on, actually give me the thing. Here we go. Vehicle adventures and scrapping. Where else can I go around here then? Hmm. Let's have a drive around and see what I can find. There's a Joe's USA over there. They usually have some bookcases at the end, and I think I can see, or mailboxes, and I think I can actually see the loot at the end if I go in there, so it would be easy to tell if it's worth going in. An electronics crate is probably worth it, because those also have a very good chance of giving you vehicle magazines. Oh, good one of these, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's go in here then. Ow. Oh, that was a weird time to get hungry. Quite distracting, actually. He dead. There he is. Press these buttons, I don't like being trapped in here. Let's get this. So, pipe bombs. Can't say no to those, let's eat the tuna. Some mods and ammo. Wait, let's check this one crate that I actually wanted. There we go, vehicle adventures. Five more needed for a motorcycle. Right, I'm gonna head back to my base really quickly and drop some stuff off. I might check Trader Jen's on the way back, because I think I wanted to buy some steel from her for the uh, pump action shotgun I was gonna make. But more importantly, I should probably get enough steel to make the motorcycle. And buying it would be the quickest way without a crucible right now, so. Also, I think the Trader's reset today, so they might have some vehicle magazines for me as well. That would be a really useful thing for them to give me. I think they did last time, but... That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen this time. Three big hitters would not be bad. Let me take that and the forge ahead. Does she have any steel? No. Joel still might though. 
read these you. books and sell her some things I don't really want. Hmm. Right, let's go talk to Joel. Joel does have a shotgun weekly, but no vehicle magazines. And he doesn't have any steel. That is mildly annoying. But we can't even make the motorcycle just yet anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much, but still. Okay, so I'm in an area of town that I've raided a lot less thoroughly than the other areas. Let's go and see if I can find any books in here. Any pigs chasing after me, by the way? There usually is in this POI. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Some duct tape and gunpowder, cool. Some, ooh, Mega Crush, nice. You don't find that in loot very much. Anyone home? Not there. What about behind here? Nope, not there either. There's definitely going to be pigs, though. One in here as well? No pig in here? Hmm, suspicious. Home cooking weekly. And some meat. Oh, there's a vulture hiding up here. Dealt with. Have the weapons bag. Pick guessers again. Nice, need ten more of those and I'll be done with clubs. Right, let's go check the main building. Oh, that was lucky. Medical journal, cool. Right, nothing's hiding down here. Let's go upstairs. Ah, two bookshelves, nice. Got vehicle adventures in there. And digger mod schematic, okay. Less good. Some meds in that cabinet. Ow. Oh, there goes her arm. Anyone else hiding on this level? I don't think so. We just need to go up. Some food on top of the fridge. So close to being where food is supposed to be. And let's start that. Probably just want to run downstairs and fight them all outside, to be honest. Come on. Okay, game. The door is completely closed. There isn't even a hole in it. Some food and ammo. Right, let's go see the end loot. We got an electronics crate. That's good. We we'll just usually have a good chance of vehicle adventure books. Some ammo and meds and wasteland treasure and extended magazine. That the extended magazine is quite useful, actually. Let me take off the cripple mod. Vehicle adventures and tech planet. We need three more vehicle adventures then. So that's good. And some meds. Let's go outside. So I've probably got all I'm going to get today. Tomorrow I will go out and scrap some cars for gas. And... Or maybe I could buy it from Joel. Now I'll need to scrap some to get where I want to go anyway. So I'll scrap some cars for gas. And... I will take down some tier 4 PYs I saw over near Trader Gens, which I know have a lot of books in them. We're bound to get three vehicle adventures from that, and then I can get on making a motorcycle, which would be a substantial improvement over this. Okay, so it is the... Is it? Yeah. Okay, so it is the morning. I had a little bit of gas back at my base already, but let's go and hunt down some more while I head over to... The area near Trader Gens, where there are a couple of POIs I want to take down. And I'll scrap a bunch of cars on the way there. Alright, so here's the first place I want to deal with. The Mortician's House. It has a good few bookcases in it. It's tier 4, but it's one I can probably handle. So, let's go and clean it out. Oh, got someone down here actually. Is that a wandering horde or just a guy? Looks like it was just a random guy. Free lockpick there, nice. Weapons bag hiding back here. With a big hairs, nice. I can make a steel club at quality 4 now if I wanted. It just makes sense to wait until 5 though. Whoa. Bookcase, nothing useful in there. Let's snipe these 3 or 4 guys. That's a feral. Let's let him come to me. Also, there's some food here. I'm cooking weekly and some cat food. Great. Yeah, hey, one shot him. Medical journal. Be sure to sneak into this back area here and get that secret stash. Forge head and cripple a mod. Any books there? Nope. More books in this room, though. Where's the zombie, though? There he was. 
Handy land, ooh. Knife guy and wiring, that's disappointing. Ow. Got a skill point though, that's good. What can I spend that on? Now let's see, intellect, it would make sense to get lock picking. Because that will actually increase my chances of getting Forge Head books. Because this game is very weird. Level 6 Fire Axe, I'll take that. Home cooking and some food. And he burned out. Ah, look, I already know. Very bad luck on these. Medical journal. Let me move my pipe bombs onto that slot, because I might need them in this next room. Oil shale, nitrate, forge ahead, nitrate and coal. And let's break open this poppin' pills crate. Furious fists in another beaker, because the game is very funny. Right, let's try and take on this last room. But I'll be careful in here and make sure you don't get hit by a cop spit on those battles next to you, because that'll kill you. Uh, very easily, actually. Shotgun Weekly. There's a Feral Soldier, which is horrifying. Doesn't look like there's any cops though, so that's nice. Feral White. Random Lady. Feral Soldier. Oh, we attracted the White and the Soldier. Shotgun time. Or better yet, maybe pistol time. Come over here. Hit the door a couple of times for me. There we go. Hope they're both dead. <laughs> we done here? I think so, right. Let me eat one of these jailbreakers and unlock the end loot. Forge ahead, tools to digest I don't need, sniper, some ammo, and some other stuff. More ammo. And shamway and working sieve tools. Not great for what I'm looking for, but hey, it works. Uh, scrapping and a level 6 wrench. Home Cooking Weekly and some food items. And another Home Cooking Weekly and another kind of food. Let's get out of here. Certainly was not great for vehicle adventures, but I got a bunch of other stuff. Now, there's another one of those POIs further up the town here, so I think we should go there next. Oh, there's a dog coming. Might as well sweep the rest of this area. Yeah, there's one. Okay, no one else. Let's go. Again, let's check this area here. Bow hunters, okay. And a woodcutter mod. Anyone home? Nobody's a biker, so I can just go in and kill people. Thing I don't need. Thing I don't need. Thing I don't particularly need. Fantastic. Let's go deal with these guys again. Good. Decapitated him in one shot. Nice. Oh, hello. You're not supposed to be there. Where have you come from? <laughs> that was weird. I see he broke his way through the building, of course. Why wouldn't he? Armored up in an armor pocket mod. Everything except what I actually want. Oh, you're feral. A magazine extender, not ideal. No books there. Some books here, though. Where's the zombie hiding? Same place as last time, great. Oh, I have no stamina. And food and ammo. Vehicle adventure, shotguns, and scrapping. Cool. Let's fight these guys. Hey, okay, hold still. Check the working stiff tools crate over here. Tools Digest, of course. Shotguns again. Herbal Antibiotics, nice. Hey, we've got some testosterone extract there. I can make a cigar now. Just need to get a bunch of plant fiber, which isn't particularly difficult. And let's handle this last room again. Got a Feral Soldier again. 
a couple of more normal looking zombies. Let's get this one. If I could aim. It's really not wanting to go through this curtain gap. That is just some bad luck. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. And you know what? Let me get a sneak attack on him before it becomes impossible. I'm out of arrows though, but that's a minor issue really. Oh, she's feral. Okay, man, I think I'm clear. So I've got like one lockpick, right? Well, I do have the time charges, but I think I left them. Oh, I left the lockpick as well, because I'm a genius. That's fine, we can get the thing in a second. I do not need a pipe rifle. Come on, give me a vehicle magazine. Here we go, there's one. We need one more. Right, let's see, how intolerable would this be? I can handle this, to be honest. Scrapping bows, another beaker, and a helmet light mod. The game is throwing beakers at me. It's laughing in my face. Ah, oh, cigar. Nice. Just as I get the testosterone to be able to make my own, it just gives me a cigar anyway, because this game genuinely is the funniest game that has ever existed. But not for any of the reasons they intended it to be. Actually, no, that would be Oblivion, wouldn't it? Oblivion takes that award. This is like the second most unintentionally funny game to ever exist. After Oblivion, of course, which is where they invented comedy. You can never be too good with a bow. I know I'm not. Oh! Shotguns? Have I raided this place? Because if not, I'm pretty confident I could probably get a uh, ah, yeah. vehicle adventures from it, and it doesn't look like I have raided it, so let's get inside. Books here. Scrapping. Electronic traps. Tools digest and scrapping again. It's going to do that hilarious thing it loves to do where when you're one away from getting what you want it doesn't give you the book for ages lockpick am i hearing a zombie in there i am stop that okay i'm guessing no vehicle adventures from this poi then but we might get lucky in this working of tools crate Scrapping, home cooking weekly, anything in the weapons bag? Yes, well that's insulting. And medical journal. Alright, no luck in here then I guess. Well actually there might be something up here, let me check. A full bag, that eh, painkiller, can't even pick it up. Right, well surely we can't be too far away from an easy vehicle adventures book. Just need to think of a good POI to try. There's this place over here, the Junkville Saloon. Don't know if I've touched this one though. But if I haven't, there's probably some easy books. Oh, I've definitely been here. Have I... Yeah, I've looted that part. Have I looted the end part? Doesn't look like I've looted the end part. Yeah, I don't think I have. There's a passing gas container there, that's promising. There we go, I can make motorcycles and I can craft my own gas if I actually get a chemistry station. Which is still a little bit of ways, but hey. We're getting there. Shotguns. More ammo. And let me try and unlock this chest. In fact, I'll just use my pickaxe. Scrapping for fun, forge ahead, first aid kit, and a pocket mod. There we go. Right, let's go back to my base and see if I have the things that I need to make a motorcycle. I know I won't have the steel, but I need to make sure I have everything else before I go hunting down all the steel. Right, let's see here. Motorcycle. I'll need 25 four steel for the chassis and 5 for the handlebar. So 30 is not too bad, but let's get the other stuff first. So I need 20 mechanical parts. Got that. 20 duct tape. Okay, I've got 16 duct tape and 14 glue, so I can turn that into that much. I just need the cloth, which I have. Here we go. I need a headlight. There we go, got those. I need steel, electrical parts, and 10 leather. Okay, we got the leather, so it's just the 
28 more steel that I need, which is not a particularly difficult amount of steel to get. Let me just get some blocks. And we can head out and gather that up from lamp posts and gas pumps, mainly. Right, so I have enough steel now, after far too much time wrenching, to make the motorcycle chassis and the handlebars. That'll take a couple of minutes each, but we should have a motorcycle by the end of the day. And let me just double check, I have absolutely everything else I need for it. Yep, I need a car battery, let's see. Yep, that would be all I need, so now I need to go get gas. I'll just buy some from Joel to get me started. Like a thousand or something. Yeah, 800 dukes, I can pay that. <laughs> also, I got a skill point there that I'm going to put into lock picking since forge ahead is now the important thing for me i need eight more to get a chemistry station but once i have that gas will no longer be an issue and then if i can get the crucible i can actually you know realistically make the 4x4 or gyrocopter until i get the crucible that's just not going to be possible though i'm not spending that amount of time going around all the lamp posts and scrapping everything that would be absolutely just a waste of time all right there's the parts let's craft the actual motorcycle there we go, we have a motorcycle. Now I can really get around. I'm going to have to gather up more gas for this, though it has a bigger tank than I remember. But now that we can really get around, the game is going to be much easier because we can go to the other towns that may exist. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't I can't find traders the classic way because I'm not allowed to do quests. But um, we can definitely drive out and find more traders. More traders means more Forge Ahead books because they each have two guaranteed, which would really help me in getting the chemistry station. So that's maybe what we'll do after the Horde tomorrow. But that'll all have to wait for the next episode. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.